Hi guys, welcome back to Garage Tech Automotive. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace your oil filter. This will be the same or very similar process to most of the Volkswagen Group two liter diesel engines on the Volkswagen Audis, Seats and Skodas. So the first thing you need to do is remove your engine cover like so. And then the oil filter is housed down in this area down here. So you can just about see it through there. So what you'll need to do first is to remove this um, Torx 30 screw here to release this um, vacuum valve. So you need a Torx 30 uh, socket. So just unscrew that. And then just fold it out the way. Just be quite careful because they are plastic pipes and you don't want to break them or damage them. So you can see the oil filters down there now. And to remove it, you need a 32 mil socket. So 32 mil. It shouldn't be too tight. You can see I'm using an extension bar just so I can get some uh, distance between the actual filter and the uh, inlet manifold. And then you can unscrew it by hand. You might just need to move this coolant pipe slightly out the way just to help you get it out, but it does come out. It's a little bit tricky. And then you can see the oil filter is now out. And that's what we want to replace. So I've just got some rag and uh, I've got an old cardboard box here to put all the, the oil etc in because it's going to get quite messy. So you can pull the oil filter off. It does take a little bit of force. And then I want to replace all of the seals. So I'm just going to take this one off first. The one at the bottom, that's the most important one. And now I'll show you the new filter. So here I'm just using a Bosch uh, filter in this example. I'll show you the part number for this particular uh, filter. You can get these from most um, motor factors. So it comes with all the seals and the actual filter. I'll just open it up and replace that bottom seal first. That's the easiest one. So I just use a small pick just to help me um, put it in place. Make sure you get the, the seal in the correct groove at the bottom, that's really important. If you don't get it in the correct one, then it will leak. And then I'm just putting a small film of oil around the seal, so then when we screw it back in, it doesn't catch or grab the seal and damage it. So just check to make sure it's in the right place. And then I'll replace the top seal. So there's two at the top. They are sometimes quite tricky to get out, so use a small pick. Just be careful not to damage um, the actual plastic. So they are two different sizes. So there's a smaller one and a larger one. So the large ones at the bottom, the smaller ones at the top. and you just slide these over with your fingers. Obviously it's best to wear gloves whilst doing this to stop all the oil getting on your hands. Okay, so once my seals are in place, you can put the filter on. Now on the top of the oil filter, it does say top on there. So that's the bit that goes in first. These only go on one way and they're quite tough to um, push in. So you have to give them a little bit of force. It's best to clip it in uh, here whilst it's out. I see some people do it where they just put the filter in loosely and then kind of clamp it up as you do it up. But it's not the best way to do it. Um, as again, just make sure there's a small film of oil around the seal. And then you can screw it in by hand and then tighten it up with... Uh, your ratchet. So 
you can see it's in place there. And then I'll just tighten it up with my socket and the ratchet. Now these don't need to be mega tight. It's only 25 Newton meters, which is not a lot. So you don't really, you really don't need to over tighten it. And then I'm just gonna use some rag just to um, clear up any excess oil that's around there. Once that's cleaned up, we can put the valve back with the Torx 30 screw. Again, you don't need to tighten this up mega tight. Just nip it up. So I just use a small ratchet for this. Sip. And you can move all of your parts out of the way and then you can put the engine cover back. And it just clips on like so. That's it guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoy these videos, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and thanks for watching. Take care.